Hi there, Shane here, uh, Uncivilized Vitality Genesee County Turtles member. Uh, this video is going to be a gear review. Um, so I'm going to do two knives here. I'm going to do my, my ADC knife. This is my all day carry. This is a Cricut Squid, uh, CRKT, I believe it's Columbia River Knife and Tool Company. Um, this knife has been my everyday carry back pocket knife for years now. Um, I bought this knife at Menards because I found I was just looking for knives there and I found this and it looked really nice. Um, what I really like about this knife is how sturdy it is. It's all steel, uh, it's got a frame lock there so you don't have to worry about uh, the little liner locks. I, I find they, they don't feel very good on my fingers. This one's real comfortable, I can just scoot it across. Um, it's got really nice good action and it's very simple to take care of. There's just a couple, in here you take this, this screw out and in there, there's a, a couple of uh, what are they, uh, Teflon washers. So you don't even have to lubricate the thing. You just take this out, pull the blade out, um, clean it out with a rag a little bit, clean off the washers, stick it back together, and, and put, the, put the screw back in, and it's, uh, it's good to go. I use this for everything. I use it for opening boxes. I use it for cutting string. I use it for food occasionally when I don't have anything else nearby. Um, it's got a pretty good sturdy um, clip here to clip onto your back pocket. I use that. Um, th that's maybe the one downside of this knife is sometimes I'll notice that that'll scratch on something when I'm when I'm leaning up against it. But it's it's honestly not a not a big deal at all, um, especially for how secure it is. I, I would rather have it be secure. I've also put uh, lanyards on these knives. This this little hole here accepts a, a paracord lanyard. Um, I had to kind of squish the end a little bit when I when I melted it to get it through there, but um, paracord works out really nice. Um, in fact, two members of my family now have the same exact knife because they liked it so much um, that I uh, I got them each one of their own. And it says it says Cricket on there, and this is a Burnley design. I don't remember the guy's first name, but his last name is Burnley, and he designed this knife. Um, yeah, and it's just just real smooth action. I can one-handed action. That's one thing I really like about a, a pocket knife. Um, the second knife I'll do this one. So I carry this knife every day in my back pocket, whatever pants I'm wearing. It's always there. Um, if I leave it somewhere, I will still reach for it. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's like, oh, where's my knife? Um, the second knife I'll do. This is a, a Leatherman Super Tool. I carry this one in my backpack. Uh, it's a little heavy, but I like to have it on me because it's got all the tools. So this is an old one that my dad gave me when I was a teenager. It says it's made in Portland, Oregon. Leatherman Super Tool. I don't know if they make this exact model anymore. Um, you could look it up, but I'm sure they make things that are similar. Um, you can see even before you open it, it's useful. It's got a ruler on the outside. Um, and if when you unfold it, it turns into a whole a whole ruler. So you kind of hold that together. It's a little awkward to use, honestly, but sometimes uh, sometimes when that's all you got, that's all you got. And uh, why not make use of that extra space? Um, so you open it up, and it's a really actually quite nice pair of pliers with uh, wire cutters in there. And the bottom here, most people probably don't even know this, this is a wire crimper. That's for if you're if you're putting crimps on a, on a long piece of wire or something, put an end on it, you can use that to crimp it. Um, and then each side has a, a selection of tools. So the one that most people are probably expecting is just a regular straight blade knife. I'll go through these kind of quick. You can see them all here. So there's a, a file. I actually use this all the time. Sometimes I'll use it to file my nails if I'm out in the woods and I, I got a hang nail or something. It's got three different sizes of flathead screwdrivers. There's two on this side. There's another super tiny one on the other side. And this is an awl for punching holes in leather. Um, I don't use that very often, but I think I have a couple of times. Um, and those are all, they lock in place. So if you if you close if you close it, this this is locked. It will not, it will not come undone without opening up another tool part way. So it's got this little um, spring thing that uh, holds the, the blade open. So if I open this, you see it pushes that spring open a little bit, with the cam on the bottom, and now you can close it. So that's it takes a bit to get get the hang of, 
but once you have the hang of it, it's really easy to use. Um, on the other side, you've got a serrated knife. Um, probably my favorite tool on this is the, the saw. The, the teeth came super sharp and have remained super sharp throughout the years. And the back of the blade is, um, it's a right angle, it's ground uh, really well. So if you're striking like a ferrocerium rod to start a fire, that's my go-to as I use the, the back of the saw. I do occasionally use it for sawing too, but usually I'll bring a, a full-size saw if I'm going out in the woods. Um, let's see, other tools here, you can see there's the, the little tiny, tiny screwdriver. That thing is super useful. I use it all the time uh, for various things. Sometimes it's the right size screwdriver, even in those little uh, glasses case ones. You can't you can't get one just the right size. I don't know why, but that one always works for me. Uh, it's got a Phillips head screwdriver and a uh, bottle opener. So this will do bottles. It'll also do cans. You can open a, a you know regular tin can with it you know, if you don't have one out in the field. And I have done that, so super handy. But yeah, nice tool. Um, I say if there's one thing I don't like about it, it's that the um, the smooth end is on the inside when you open it to use the pliers. So if you have to squeeze on that real hard, it's not so nice on the hands. Um, but it keeps the tools more protected when you close it up. So I guess it's a it's a trade off. The newer models I think have the tools on the outside, so when you open it up, you got a smoother handle. But it's a trade off. Leatherman Super Tool, nice leather case for it, which is held up in time. Thanks, Dad. All right, so that's the gear review. Um, uh, if you got comments or questions, put them in, in the chat uh, and like and subscribe to the channel.